Okay, hi, my name is Sophie and today I'm gonna show you guys another makeup haul like I always do. So a little backstory on this is I woke up in a bad mood and that's about it. I woke up in a bad mood and I was um, I was just chilling and then I decided to check out makeup, like new makeup. And yeah, I ended up shopping for an hour and um, yeah it made you feel great not gonna lie because it felt like i was taking care of myself you know self-care is very important uh it's not something everybody does uh it's something that most of us should do you know and um yeah so here are the items <clears throat> yeah this is my largest single purchase ever so um i think i have spent around prior to this my largest single purchase is around twenty seven thousand and um, this is more than that this is way more than actually you know what i'm not gonna tell you how much because i'm kind of shy i bought these items with my own money i um these are no way sponsored how i wish all of my makeup were sponsored so you know i won't have to spend so much money buying Everyone's so noisy today. I don't know why my neighbors, who is usually quiet, is playing music. My dogs are barking. So anyway, uh, yeah, because I'm barefaced right now, so I'm gonna try to use some of them just so we can test it out. Um, primers. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six primers. Um, the first one is this is Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, Pore Vanishing and Blurring Face Primer. The next one is the Hangover Primer. This is a Replenishing Face Primer. The next one is Becca Velvet Blurring Primer in Apricot Haze. I don't know why it has a shade. So maybe because. Let me check. I. It's um. It's like a foundation. There, it's a primer. Oh no. Okay, the next one is this one is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Mac Perfecting Primer, infused with peach and sweet. <laughs> fig and sweet fig and a ba infused with peach and sweet fig cream. This one is from Too Faced also from their peach collection. Hmm. Next one is this one. I am looking forward to this because I used to sell these and I've never tried it because it's expensive. And then you know, instead of me using it, I'm just gonna sell it. You know. I never kept like I had like four or five of these for um, my shop and I never used it because you know but then now I got mine I got one for myself I got the full size this is a 30 ml this is actually one of my most expensive item here yeah it's actually I think this is the most expensive one I'm not sure I'm not sure I think I'm not sure because like hourglass is fucking expensive so this is the uh, mineral primer of veil mineral primer of hourglass i think everybody if you are into makeup if you know makeup you already know what this is um yeah and my sister-in-law she bought one for herself and she said that it's actually her the best primer ever so i can't wait to give it a go um and then this one this one is the elf mineral infused face primer this actually used to be my favorite when i was in college i couldn't afford um expensive makeup so i would always find dupes in the department store so um and this was the dupe for my smashbox photo finish primer and that's my favorite that's my favorite primer like i don't check like, it's the pe best primer for my face. It's not the best primer out there, maybe for you, but for me, for my face, for my skin type, it's the best for me. It's just, yeah. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, I have other primers that are more expensive, that are more 
uh, known but I'm always sticking by my Smashbox photo finish primer because it just yeah it works for me you know it, you don't always have to buy the the latest makeup trends you know you just have to buy what's work what works for you okay, not, this used to be my favorite in college back when I couldn't afford expensive primers and I saw this when I was going through the website of elf and I was like you know what I'll give this a go again you know if it's still the same um, quality as before I'll use this for my primer today it says here two times the original so does that mean it's maganda siya? we'll see I also got a new mirror look it says yeah it's me Every, everything about this primer is the same as Smashbox um so the same so next we move on to foundations okay I have five foundations Joke four lang pala. I only have four foundations. Okay, so this one is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation Stays All Day and Night from Charlotte Tilbury. And then this one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. This one, uh, I wasn't, this one was given to me by my dad. He gave this to me the same day I got these items. So, yeah. So, I'm sinama ko na rin. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Ultra HD found Invisible Cover Foundation. So, this one, nagpa swatch test ako for this. So, I know that this is my shade. So, I won't swatch it. So, let's try the others cuz like in eyeball ko lang yung ano. So, the Too Faced Peach Foundation um, this is in the shade Warm Beige. I hope to God this is my shade because if in there, I am just gonna lose it. Let me check. It's like, it's like this. Oh, I think it is my shade. Hold on. Let me massage. Whenever I swatch, again, I always put it on my jawline because that's how. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna get a sponge. It smells nice, by the way. The foundation has a scent to it. It's not... It's not I don't know, what happened, but it's okay. The foundation is a little too dark for my face. I think it's because I put too much. It's not that bad. Pala. Since I only have four, I'm gonna put it the first half of my first fourth of my face. It smells like shampoo. It's medium coverage. This is in the shade Warm Beige. See, medium coverage. I was right. The next one is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade 5.5 Warm. Yeah. Oh, it looks expensive because it is expensive. This one, I think it's kind of close to my shade. Magic Tama Shai Theme. Oh, my conditioner. What good? Yung ba pag mahal yung foundation mo? But so far, it's nice. It's not that bad. Maybe with a different primer. Maybe it will work with a different primer. We move on to the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. I am in this shade Warm Beige. I'm always Warm Beige. I know a popular foundation. You know, back in college, nung parang medyo nag boom to, I couldn't afford it because it was so expensive. Like the most I could afford for foundation was Milani. No, it was the infallible. I think it's around 700 pesos. It's like my dad would always tell me that if you want something and you can't afford it yet, maybe it wasn't the time for you to have it yet. You know, you don't have to be jealous of other people if they're like, if they have more stuff than you or they're progressing in life more than you are. You know, good things come. For those weight okay so this is medium coverage and um, if I add another layer then it will be full I only have one concealer this is the um, the makeup forever skin matte velvet matte I know matte skin matte velvet skin I have shade matte on this makeup forever so this is actually my match I won't swatch it now but this is how it looks like I also got a paint pot now, this is actually one of the items I regret buying in this bunch. Why? 
because it's a concealer pot but people usually use it for their eyes to prime their lids um, I got that um, after checking out I suddenly remembered that I already have one as in what I just said is ko na meron akong parating so there's that this is the paint pot I can't open it because I already have one opened and I don't want it to expire Okay, uh, next one, I have eyeliner. This is the Better Than Sex Eyeliner. It's, a, it's an eyeliner. Because the popular is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I also have that. And it's very pigmented. I really like it. Ayan. So for palettes, I got three, six, and eight. I have eight palettes with me. Um, let's start with these three. These are the ColourPop um, Nines. So we have the Strawberry Shake, the Blue Moon, and the Main Squeeze. I'll open it for you. Actually, look cute. Look at this. Cutest. So the Strawberry Shake is full of pink. There. Galing, di ba? May, ano pa? May caldero. The Main Squeeze. I think this is red. There. The reds. I know there's not much difference than sa isa, but... I'm really drawn into like shades like this, like warm shades, like reds and oranges. So. And I also have blue moon. I don't know why I got. I don't really use blue, but it looks. You know, I want to explore. I want to be. You know, I want to go out of my comfort zone. Next one is the modern renaissance. I used to have this when I was in college. Um, I started having more palettes, and I forgot about this palette, so I just gave it to my sister. One time, where I wanted. To create this look but I created that look before when I was in college and I used this so I was like I need I need to have it again so that I can do more looks because like you can do so much looks with these um, with these colors so nice it's so pigmented as then you will get your money's worth okay so the next one is this this is the jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star I actually have a lot no, not a lot. I only actually have two Jeffree Star palettes, the Blood Sugar and the um, Androgyny. And I really like them. Like The formula of Jeffree Star is really good. It's really pigmented, it's buildable, it's blendable. It's just... Wow. So... There. See? Look how pretty those colors are. This next one is the 3503. I used to have the 350M. And then um, I was in after the like that was my favorite palette 35 OM and then I discovered J Cat which is like a perfect new for Morphe if you couldn't afford Morphe palettes you could always go for J Cat and and I started using the J Cat every day and I wasn't reaching out for the for the Morphe palette anymore so I gave it away so the 3503 looks like this Again with a lot of orange. Ah, so pretty. It has pinks and oranges and reds and nice, nice warm browns. And ngayon meron na silang shade names. Morphe when they were just starting, they didn't have ano, they didn't have shade names for their um, shadows. Okay. Next one is this. Is this Dede? This is the um, Zoeva ano, Collection Coffret. I don't know how you say it, Coffret. This has three palettes inside. It's like a collection of like their best sellers, I think. I two lang pala. I'm sorry, I thought three. So it's like this. You pull it out like a drawer. Mm. <gasps> no, it's not! Two? And then. Oh my god. Four palettes. Winning. So they ha you have the Coco Blend. The Naturally Yours, the Caramel Melange, is that how you say it? And the Screen Queen. So this is the Screen Queens. There. The next one is, this is the Caramel Melange. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, so this one is, this is the popular Zoeva colors, right? And then here we have the Naturally Yours. Another neutral palette. Yeah. This one, I always see this. Like, some mga makeup artists. Because, like, they said, Nazueva is a really good brand for your palettes. Next one is this. This is the 8M Medium Vibe. This is from Morphe. So, the 9C used to be my favorite contour palette, but then it got phased out. 
So I think this is the closest one that they have. This is the 8M and this is medium. So they have like a cool, a medium and like a deep contour kit. And it's close to what I used before. I would use this for contour. This one is for bronzer. I also have this. This is a blush. This is Serafina from Juvia Space. Not into blushes talaga. Not gonna lie. But, you know, sometimes sometimes you mood ako na I want to use a blush one. A Freak Blush by Juvia's. Ito siya. But the shade is called Serafina. It's a super pink blush. Anyway, next is the um, lipsticks. Oh, concealer, I have one more. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah, lipsticks. Okay, so I have three, four. I have four. Three, four, five, five pala. Bobo. I don't have it. Pala. I gave it. Because. So I got that. I got that shade. And then I went upstairs and then I checked the mirror na pala ko. So no dumating siya, I gave it to Cheds. Cheds is my sister in law. So it's not here. So yeah. Anyway, so next one, this one is the Giorgio Armani lip magnet. Super cute lipstick. There you go. And then I have these three, yung MAC Trio. I don't wanna open them yet. Because I'll be forced to use them. I also have this. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Face Kit. The reason why I got this kit is because of the some the, the thingy in the kit. The face, face and eye gloss. I just need it. And it comes with a lip gloss and dewy primer. There. I also got this from e.l.f. This is the um, e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Facial uh, Mist. It's a so, makeup mist and set. Adi ano setting spray there. Um, setting sprays have three more. So this is the Hangover Three in One setting spray. A lot of people use this because they said na it's just magiging waterproof yung makeup mapag ganito. So you know. I also have the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. It says here, Shake Me Baby. Then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. There. Um, I also have this. This is the Clinic Happy Nut Trio. I got this because I like it. So, yeah. All I can say is. Don't buy anything when you're sad. I mean, I'm gonna use them, all of them for sure. But like, I realized, nung unti unti na siyang demand thing, I would sometimes forget na I got the item. Like, for example, um, this, the Holy Hydration Face Cream. When the items from e.l.f. got here, I was like, huh? I don't remember buying this, you know? Because of it's because of the ano, it's because of the the frustration I had that day and but it's self care. Like, like I said, it's self care and there's nothing wrong with it. You're taking care you taking care of yourself is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself. You know, um, it can self care can be in the form of um, retail ter therapy or you can do skincare self um, self care it can also be treating yourself to a good meal or you know, giving yourself like a really nice hot bath or whatever. It depends on how you want to take care of yourself. With me, this is how I treated myself that day. And um, it did make me happy. Like, I was so excited. Uh, when I checked out all my items, I was like, yes, yes, I deserve it. All of these items, it's for me. Ganon. And um, yeah, and then when they, when they got here, I was like, oh no, I'm never shopping again. Like, Homegirl spend a lot, but we'll make the most of it. But thank you so much for watching, and um, thank you, thank you for watching. This is a dumb video. I, all of my videos are meh, but I'm glad you're here. Thank you.